Hey, <laughs> so Gameflip has been gone for like six years, but now they're back and they're sponsoring videos, which is very nice. So as you know, Gameflip is a safe alternative to cash out, just like OP skins, and they're hosting a $10,000 giveaway in which the first 5,000 people to use my code Anomaly on their site gets $2 for free, but it's limited to the first 5,000 to use it, which is very nice. Hello. So today, I will- <sighs> Shut up! Uh, uh. So as you've probably seen the latest couple of weeks, if you've been playing the Hydra events in order to get the drops and the coins, uh, they haven't been very fun. At least not for me. So started three weeks ago with the War Games, then the mode after that was the Ranked 2v2, then the mode after that was Weapons Expert, and then now the mode again, the full rotation, is back at War Games. So now that I've played everything, I've played the Ranked 2v2, I've played the Ranked uh, Weapons Expert, and I've played all of the different War Games, I can give my statement of what I think about it. Nice. It's shit. It's really bad. They didn't make a post about the rank 2v2, I don't know why, but the weapons expert is fucking, it's really boring. It's just like kind of dumb matchmaking. It feels so useless to play it, because the rank you get, get from that, I, I'm not sure if it resets yet, because, you know, it hasn't gone a full rotation to one of the ranked things. It doesn't feel like you gain anything when you rank up from the weapons expert and the rank 2v2. It, it really doesn't. You just get the, the points, the dots, and that's it. And now for all of the six different war games that you can play, maybe, maybe should have called it the boar games. <laughs> so you have Stab Stab Sap, which is just like a casual game, but you can only use Knife and Zeus, which is moderately fun. Like one, one of those games and then, then you're kind of done. It's, it's not very fun in like, for long periods of times. Then we have Flying Scoutsman, which is just like Scout Knives, but it's not the original Scout Knives map. It's just played on maps like Lake and the b Boathouse side, I don't know what the fuck it's called. So this is alright, but it's mostly just, you know, people jumping in spawn and spawn killing because, you know, you can see over the whole map. Then we have Trigger Discipline, which is literally just <laughs> casual with one health. That's what it is. Then we have Boom Headshot. This is literally just deathmatch with headshot only. Like, those community servers have existed for so long. Then you have Hunter Gatherers, which is just kill confirmed from Call of Duty if you've ever played that. Kill someone and you only get the score if you pick up their dog tag, which they drop when they die. He's gone. <laughs> And then we have Heavy Assault Suit, which is just casual with the Heavy Assault Suit. But since no one echoes in casual, it's just regular casual. Because no one can afford to buy the Heavy Assault Suit. <laughs> now since Operation Hydra is set to run for 18 weeks, and each rotation is three weeks, it means we're going to replay all of these things six times. That means six weeks, it's gonna be War Games. Six weeks, it's gonna be Ranked 2v2, and six weeks, it's gonna be Weapons Expert. So replaying all of these events six times is gonna be really boring, especially if you want all the coins and all the drops. Now the drops and the coins stack, so what you could do is just wait for week 18 and then just play whatever it's gonna be then. I think it's gonna be the weapons expert, and just fucking go for the weapons expert like 24 hours, and then you will have all the coins and all of the drops. So what most people are gonna do is they're gonna play the new Hydra event as soon as it comes out, so in three days, but then, you know, that's gonna be really boring after 18 weeks of just every week repeating the same shit over and over. Same with the Guardian missions. The Guardian missions you can finish in like 5-6 hours easy and get all the drops and uh, you know, that's that's not really fun. So with the previous operation you used to only be able to do uh, a certain amount of missions within a certain time frame. I can't even remember how many it was. I guess it's like one every day or something. You could do one mission every day. But it was so long ago I can't remember. But now that you can complete all of the missions in just like 6 hours it's it's really boring. There's a lot of dead time where, where you don't have anything to do for the for the like entire operation. Now one thing I really wanted them to add in the new operation was missions similar to the Gemini campaign we had in Operation Wildfire. Now they were more like a single player game. They weren't like, you know, CSGO regular the missions we have now where it's just farm bots, just kill them round after round after round. Now those missions were you you know, you had to like infiltrate a big base and kill off the the phoenix and rescue people and shit. I don't know. It was pretty nice, man. 
and nothing like these missions where you just farm bots over and over and over, which is really boring. Now, I'm not sure if you agree with my opinion that these missions are really boring and that the Hydra events are also really boring. I may be biased because I've played through all of these missions, I think, four times now on four different accounts. Because I I'm making a video where I see how often the drops from these missions repay the actual pass. And so far, I can tell you that it's, it's not looking very good. Now, early on in the operation, people thought that they were going to add new missions, more co-op missions, like the Gemini campaign, further into the operation. But it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Because if you calculate all the 18 weeks, I think that's 18 coins, and then the, the ones from the Guardian. I'm not sure how many you get, but I think it was like 7 or something. It all adds up to 25, which I think is needed for the diamond. So it doesn't look like they're going to, uh, to add any more missions, which is really boring. But yeah, I would have wanted them to have the original Scout Knives map. I'm not sure if they really should have the Boom Headshot mode, because that's already available in the community servers. But I guess, like, it's better if it's part of the official game instead of just the community servers, I guess. Trigger Discipline would have been a lot better if you could actually kill yourself while shooting instead of just lower yourself down to one health. Because in fucking Trigger Discipline, basically everyone runs around with one health. And Heavy Assault Suit, maybe they should have added so everyone has Heavy Assault Suit or it's a lot cheaper because I think it's $6,000 in Heavy Assault in this game mode, you know, so... I also think they could have been more experimental with these uh, war games. Instead of just having kill and shoot uh, game modes, they could have added something really chill, like KC. You can like lean back in your couch and surf. I guess you could be call me a couch surfer. <laughs> Overall, I really regret not recording and making videos of the Gemini missions back in Wildfire. Hopefully, I'm not sure if they're gonna add an operation close to the end of this operation. Hopefully, they will start making operations like a regular thing again. Hopefully. But this operation overall, I'm kinda disappointed with. The new case they added with Operation Hydra doesn't add a new knife or new gloves or anything. It's just the same old gloves in a new case. So that's not really interesting. Playing the war games, the rank 2v2 and the weapons expert first time was kind of fun. But now since it's just on a repeating three week cycle, it's going to get really boring for a fact. The Guardian missions were okay the first time you completed them. But it's still, it's nothing compared to the Gemini missions or the Blitz mission that you had in the Wildfire. Because with Operation Bloodhound, the Falcon knife was released. With Operation Wildfire, the Bowie knife was released. And now with this one, nothing new was released. But yeah, overall, I think the Operation Hydra was kind of a letdown. I mean, we've been waiting for over a year for this, and it didn't really add much new. Like, the war games are new, I guess, but it's not, it's not really pulled off in a great way. The rank 2v2 is cool, the concept is cool, but I would have wanted that to be like a thing you can always queue. Like, I would love to farm some rank 2v2 to get like rank 2v2 global or whatever, but since you can only do that every third week, it's like, it feels kind of useless. Overall, what I'm trying to say is Operation Hydra is kind of okay, but hopefully Valve starts releasing operations more often and maybe, you know, Work on them a bit more. <laughs> nice. It come and walk in and come and caps lock it on. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Gameflip is doing a ten thousand dollar giveaway, which is really nice. So go check them out. Link in the description. <laughs>